battle has just begun! Hello, hello, welcome to the Robot Nigga Sexy Show. This is going to be an underused battle I had with Foxy Nixon. Um, yes. Uh, <laughs> I actually thought he was Insane Gamers since they're both named Luke, uh, so I get really excited. But it's just Foxy Nixon. But that's okay. Uh, this is a UU team. I've kind of been. I, I showed it to you in a showdown battle, but I don't have a modest Roserade yet. So, as a placeholder, I have a Lilligant, but other than that, the team is kind of the same, except for Gudra. And we'll get to that. Um, in Showdown, I was using um, a uh, Hydration Rain Dance Rest Gudra, because I thought that would just be really strong and underused. Um, but uh, I discovered that you could not change uh, Pokemon's abilities with ability capsules if they had the hidden abilities. Like, the game literally will not let you do it. So I just I just was forced to use a GUI ability Gudra, and we're gonna see what happens. Cause uh, GUI is one of those abilities where it's like, it's like okay, that's kind of cool, but you know, it's it's not levitate, it's not adaptability, it's not really like one of the better abilities out there. But GUI gets uh, messy. Anyway, he's got a Choice Scarf Chandelier, he's going to lead with that. Uh, Focus Sash Shazam is really, really, really great for Victinis and Chandelers, and they're always going to be an underused forever, so, you know, it's good shit right there. And Special Defensive Empoleon, going to get up the rocks, he just stays in, maybe predicting the knockoff uh, in Death Fodder's Chandelier, because he, he doesn't really want to switch out into anything when I could just pop a knockoff and do loads of damage, so... I'm going to Death Fodder and pull in here, uh, you know, in case he wants to SD or something, I could go for a a, um, a Scald that is the Torrent boosted, since I only have like 6 HP, so, you know, that works. But uh, Infernape outspeeds pretty much everything in the tier, except for like Alakazam, so uh, Infernape is underused now, and uh, I don't feel bad. I've been using this guy since X and Y began, and uh, yeah, he's just really powerful as he is capable of two-shotting this uh, Swampert, who I can only assume has lots of defense and HP investment. He's going to show me the Protect here, which is a bit of a problem, because it means I won't, I definitely will not be able to two-hit KO him after the additional turn of leftovers, so that's kind of a pain in the dick, uh, but it's okay, because I have the obvious as obvious Grass Pokemon, who I can switch into right now, Lilligant. He's going to see this coming from miles away, go for Toxic, but he's going to miss the Toxic, which is really unfortunate, but in the end I don't believe it matters since I'm just going to Kamikaze this guy, I'm just going to like uh, Quiver Dance as much as I can and then like go for as much damage as I can with uh, with Petal Dance, because um, this Lilligant has own tempo so it cannot be confused by its own Petal Dance, so that's kind of cool, that's like the object of the set. I know. Like, try-hard Lilligant have, like, Giga Drain and Hidden Power Rock and stuff, but this Lilligant isn't really like that. It actually has Dream Eater, which, you know, Sleep Powder, Dream Eater, you know. It's the new meta. So I'm gonna go Quiver Dance. And, uh, this is good scouting opportunity. He definitely had a Choice Scarf Chandelier, so the, the chances of him having two Scarfers is, is pretty low, but, you know, I'm willing to, uh, test the waters here as I go for a plus one modest max special attack pedal dance does a load of damage and tons of damage and then he's going to one shot me with u-turn from full which is a crystal clear indication that he is choice banded so very 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 standard stuff here uh, not really leaves mu leaving much to the imagination I noticed that his team doesn't really have a defogger or a rapid spinner of any sort, so yeah, now that I have the rocks up, I pretty much have the game uh, in it. I have a good situation here, um, but uh, Lucario is another Pokemon who uh, was added to Yu Yu uh, along with Infernape, and if anybody remembers what Lucario does, um, it uses Sword Dance and Extreme Speed, and yeah. <laughs> We're gonna see if my team can actually deal with that, um, but uh, let's not get ahead of myself. Uh, he's gonna bring in Scrafty first, Dragon Dance, Scrafty, probably Jolly Nature, uh, definitely Jolly Nature, I think, maybe. As I go for the Dragon Pulse, it does a ton of damage, that's over half, that's incredible. 
Uh, he was actually convinced that I was wearing choice specs, but nope, it's just modest max special attack, I, because I think Gudra has a lot of base special attack. So the GUI ability is gonna, gonna activate here. Um, I honestly thought high jump kick was just gonna kill me, but for some reason Gudra survives, and then I'm not sure if that's min-max damage ratio, but I blast him with uh, Dragon Pulse, and that's gonna take care of him which is extremely important. If he had lived on a smidge, this game would have been very, very, very different because Lucario is going to come in here and he's going to start setting up for game. He's going to set up to sweep because, uh, you know, like unless you have Cofagrius or something, like there's little, there's very little you can do against Lucario. Um, I'm just going to go Dragon Pulse. Uh, it turns out that his Lucario is adamant with Focus Sash. Uh, and he said that most uh, underused Lucario are adamant just for to take advantage to take advantage of the attack power because Lucario has 110 base attack. So he's going to take me down with the uh, Ice Punch. And that is going to lower his speed with uh, the GUI ability, and this is absolutely key because my max speed Jolly Rhyperior outspeeds Lucario and just kills him from there, which uh, we were both floored. I thought I. I didn't think that would happen, but uh, he's running adamant, he's running max neutral speed, but Lucario only has 90 base speed, like he's pretty slow really when you think about it. Uh, so GUI ability um, <laughs> saves my ass, it saves it from the fire, the fiery fires of SD E speed sweeping, and the Zoroark's just gonna kill me, which is fine, um, and I can just finish the game off with a couple close combats, and that's going to be the match against Foxy Nixon. A very quick match, um, but a good one. I thought it was fun. I thought I would, you know, throw it up there, because it's the first... Is this the first underused X and Y battle I've ever uploaded? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm, I usually upload underused showdown videos, usually not Wi-Fi since they're a little bit harder to get, but I hope you enjoyed the battle if you enjoyed, if you did, if you did, yeah, if you did enjoy, you know what to do, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later, YouTube. Bye-bye. Mm,